She said don't think it's time for us to change so she Made it to work did my makeup again and I talked about this on my Instagram post this morning not about my makeup but just about choosing a positive mindset setting the tone for the week um, I don't know if you guys have been able to tell um, the past week really the past like no I would say yeah the past week I have definitely been in a little bit of a funk I've just had some stuff going on in my personal life that I was like had some I was struggling a little bit with or to like move work through move forward from all of that and I just this morning put on my eh, strong strong friend shirt and this might sound silly but it does it just like it reminds me of like I'm gonna I'm strong mentally I'm strong physically like you can get through whatever this week is gonna be a good week the Sun is shining um, and just that you have the ability to choose to have a positive mindset and to choose to focus on the good things in life and what's good around you and what's positive around you what makes you feel good what makes you smile and you always have the power to make that choice because you could always focus there's always something in your life that you could complain about you could find something to complain about you could find something that's not going as well as you hope it would whatever um, things could always be better Instead of ha having that outlook though, I just chose this morning. It's gonna be different. Very, very happy. Um, I'm really excited for everything to come with competing and just in my personal life and ev everything that's that I'm working towards, basically. I'm very excited for it and it's very motivating for me. And sometimes the stuff you have going on in your personal life, you can't necessarily change. So you just kind of have to shift your mindset and focus on the things you can control. And for me, that's working towards my goals. That's working towards getting through the rest of this season the best I possibly can. Um, none of the issues were around competing. I feel like I should say that because I, I have a feeling most of, some of you are going to think that it might be competing and that wasn't the problem at all. But um, anyway, I'm just, I'm very excited and very motivated for the rest of this season and I'm very motivated to start working towards getting like my personal training certification and improving the quality on my YouTube channel. I wanna get a YouTube intro made. I'm excited for the series to come after I'm done competing on here. I've already been putting a ton of thought into that and I think I already have, I have a few different names of what I would want the series to be called and I'm still trying to figure out which one would be perfect. We will see. I just put a bunch of the labels on the poly mailers and I have to go pack a bunch of orders but it is almost 10. So I think I'm gonna eat my salad right now because I'm very, very hungry. I actually wanted to eat my salad at like 8.30 this morning because I didn't do my cardio at the gym, so I got home at six instead of 6.30. So I ate my breakfast real early this morning. But I just wanted to hop on and say, well, kind of just check in with you guys because I had already said good morning. Um, but yeah, my leg workout was really, really good this morning. My legs are gonna be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> can already see that coming but yeah I just wanted to check in and as a little reminder that you can always choose to set the tone for your day your week whatever it is just choose to look at the positives and like for me this morning I had already gotten myself in a really really good place and was very excited to just like kind of tackle this week and on my way to work there was a little bit of traffic and instead of sitting in the traffic getting frustrated, I was like, all right, you know, I'm gonna take this time, call my mom, call my dad, check in with them, tell them to have a good week, tell them I love them and see how they're doing. So I did that, that put a smile on my face. I don't get to see them as often. Like my dad, I used, was living with him last year and the year before actually. So I don't get to see him as often. So I know he really enjoys talking. I really enjoy talking to him. It's one of those situations where I feel like very refreshed after conversations with them. So I called both of them this morning, told them I love them, told them I care about them, told them I hope they have a good week. And then Amanda and I also chatted and me and her are both kind of in the same spot and I told you guys that I'm probably gonna be working out with Mike um, between my next two shows just to like stay focused and keep my eyes on the prize. And she's kind of in that same mindset too. So me and her are gonna start working out every Tuesday and Thursday together, I think. Or at least we're doing that this week. So I'm very excited about that too because same thing. 
I, I leave the workouts in the morning um, after being with her and I just feel very refreshed and ready to conquer the day. So that is me consciously making choices and doing things that I know are gonna help me and keep me in the right mindset, right headspace. I'm gonna stop chatting your ear off. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have been able to tell. I was in a little bit of a funk. Long story short, I'm out of that funk and I'm feeling very, very good. Focusing on the things I can control and just working towards the things I wanna work towards. So I'm gonna make my salad and then pack a bunch of orders. Oh my god, look at my baby hairs. Hey. <laughs> you want to be on camera? No. But they haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, I mean, you've got a big, big voice. Um, you can say hello or something. No. I just don't. Guys, look at his socks. Camera. Look at his socks. They're sweet, they're fancy. Ah, all right, you friend. delete all of this? I really don't want to be on video. Yes. Made it home from work quite a while ago. It's like six o'clock. Um, I stopped at the gym on my way home. I was gonna do cardio and then decided no cardio today. I sat in the sauna. Yeah, he was fresh. Me. Yeah, he's bummed. Sorry. Um, and I've just kind of been hanging out. And we are about to watch Jumanji because I've wanted to see this for freaking ever, ever since it came out. So we're gonna do that and then I will get to editing the video. But I'm drinking my, the Fireside Vanilla Spice Tea. It's the weirdest tea I've ever had before, but it's actually pretty good. So we're going to watch this. He doesn't want to be on camera. But he's so cute. Look at how cute he is. Look at that bicep. Stop. <laughs> Get the stupid camera out of my face. It's not in your face, first of all. Might as well be. Is it off? I like your purple blanket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm tired. That is it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, join the family. Christopher, what would you rate Jumanji? Out of 10. Out of 10? It was funny. I know, I liked it a lot. Like an eight and a half. Eight and a half. I agree with that. Jumanji, I thought was really good. It was better than I expected. And different than I expected, too, which I think may helped make it better. But Christopher is, I don't know if you can see, making Lily mad. <laughs> She's growling over there. But I was you guys in the morning for a shoulder workout with Amanda. I know I just trained shoulders, but... I told you guys my workout schedule is off. Ever since I switched it up a little bit, I've had trouble like getting on the set schedule. But now that Amanda and I are gonna be working out every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm just switching over to her schedule basically. I train shoulders twice a week anyway, so my second shoulder workout of the day when I'm supposed to do legs and shoulders together, I'm just going to do legs and something else or just legs alone. So then starting next week, we will fully be on the correct schedule. Lily's so mad at him. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. She got me loving in the morning. Got me singing in the pouring rain. Got me wrapped around a finger. I'm perfect in the palm of your hand.